here with JD Martinez. JD, welcome to New York. How's it, how's it feel to be in New York? Man. Feels good. I don't know. Feels like every time I've been in New York, you know? <laughs> JD, you know, you're one of the professional hitters of the game. Were you a student of hitting? Yeah, I always loved it, admired it, and respected the difficulty of it. And, and who did you like uh, emulate? Who did you want to go after when you when you going? I don't know. I mean, for me, my favorite player growing up was, you know, Miggy was right there. Um, Ken Griffey Jr., obviously. Um, I don't know. So many hitters right around, you know, South so you Florida. you incorporate a little bit of each one of them? Um, you know, when I was when I was making my swing change, I really tried to copy Miggy, and then I realized I can't be like Miggy, and then I studied Ryan Braun and studied Joey Votto and studied – all these guys and just piece a little bit of pieces, mm. but still kept a little bit of me in there too. You know, they always say that great hitters, like yourself, things slow down. Is, is that true? I mean, one time I spoke to Pete Rose, he goes, man, when things are going good, you can, the ball, everything is slow motion. Yeah, when things are going good, everything is just slow motion and you're just, just feels like the game's really slow and you're, you know what, the pitcher's going to throw before he throws it sometimes, you know? So it's a, a, the mental preparation more aspect of your game? You... I think sometimes it's, you know, obviously that, the mental preparation, but the intuitiveness too. Sometimes it's not being so dedicated to the numbers and to the, you know, statistics and stuff, mm -hmm. but actually just watching the game and just seeing what the pitcher's been in trouble with and just reading the game. Now, you know, obviously... With the analytics and all that stuff, do you worry about that? Do you, do you, or you just say, listen, man, I've, I've been doing this all my life. I, I know how to hit a ball. Because I, I always want to say, you know what? These guys have been great from from the get-go. And all of a sudden you say, well, listen, you can do this better during the day. Do, do you worry about that? I mean, I think there's a side of it where you have to worry about it because it's kind of – it's sad, but it's kind of how the games become and it's kind of how they pay you. It's based off the analytics um, <laughs> and the numbers and, you know, essentially – trying to beat the computer models that they're coming up with ways to you know devalue the hitters so you got to kind of incorporate it and compete against it but obviously when you are up at the base at the plate you don't think oh well you know this guy's going to throw me this in this situation i think your, your instincts take over take over yeah yeah it's one of those things where i mean you train all day you're just in the box and you're competing at that point jd good luck man and you I, i'm you, telling man. you man I I, i've it. always admired your hitting man i said boy man this guy I appreciate he, you know, it. He's a student of the game. You know, I said, man, he's got to be. There's got to be something. There's a book I was going to ask you about, the art of hitting 300, back in the day. But I'm sure you, you know, Charlie Lau, the way of mm -hmm. his style of hitting. I said, probably his pops, you know, introduced him to, to that book and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. I always studied it and watched a lot of hitters. I was always infatuated with baseball, and since I was a kid, and my dad took me and going to uh, Paul Casanova's house and. He kind of made me fall in love with it, and he made me really just dive into the hitting side of things and just. And, you, and your pops was a player? Huh? Your pops was a play player? No, no, my pops wasn't. Uh, Paul Casanova was. He played with the Washington Senators back in the day and um, played with Hank Aaron with the Braves, and he just really taught me to fall in love with it, and that was kind of what took me off. Well, listen, man, I fall in love with your hitting, brother. I appreciate it, man. Good luck, Thank man. You. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Yo quiero que te suscribas a las cinco esquinas.